I can't believe the regular season's done. Some of those games I could barely remember. But we did it. We made the playoffs. And tonight, I make my postseason debut. I wasn't sure I'd be here as a rookie, but I can't wait to see what this team can do. Now KG said, anything's possible. So let's go chase that title. A sight many have seen head into the airport here in Los Angeles. We've got an electric crowd here in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. A playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. A look at the Clippers. In a seven-game series, they have the home crowd advantage. You can, you can feel it in the air, guys. But will they be able to start this series with the win? And they're ready to go. I mean, as we can hear, so are their fans. This can be an intimidating building to play in when the crowd is this charged up. That alone gives them a huge leg up. The Clippers trail. Smith outside. Pass to Rivers. Screen by Smith. Just four to shoot. Takes a three. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Utah shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Hayward on the wing, covered by Reddit. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Quick hands and the ability to anticipate the opening to create a turnover. So valuable, especially for a guard as we see two tremendous talents with their ability to steal that ball away. You know, and John Stockton, the only player to have cracked the 3,000 barrier in terms of career steals. You ask the fans about Stockton, and it's his passing they'll remember. But if you ask the players, he's played up against it. They'll tell you it's his defense that was just as sharp. Riven shot is off. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. 51 seconds left in the first. And the shot is good. And it's a three-point Utah lead. And the D is having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. They're not really closing out on them as much as they should be. Six of their last ten points have come by way of the two-point. And stolen by Freak. And here we go. Fast break. Freak's got it. Really left alone. That's a move. Seven points for Gordon Hayward. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Rivers kicks to Smith. The shot. The shot by Reddick, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Out to Hayward. He dishes it to Freak. Four seconds left. Again, the Jazz score. And just a nice bucket there to really just sustain that lead. Well, a few more possessions like that, and they'll do more than sustain the lead, Greg. I think they'll start to put this thing away by pulling away. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Jazz finishing the quarter on a tremendous 8-0 run. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second. Recently, we sat down with Freak to discuss his NBA future as a free agent this offseason. Well, I'm not really focused on the future right now. You know, I'm just taking things one step at a time, believing it'll all work out in the end. But right now, I'm just focused on being the best team that I could be. You know, Clark, it sounds like he hasn't ruled out the possibility of exploring his options. And I'd agree with you, Kevin. So a huge opportunity for any player. One of the greatest opportunities a player can have in his career. So I think it makes sense, and it's proven to take your time, evaluate your options, and see where you think you might want to land. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? A lot of tough deep 
being played by them so far. It's been the difference maker. Greg, no uncontested shots for the 13. Burke, the pass to Lyles. Booker in the post. Defended by Griffin. And it falls over the rim and in. Booker's got his first basket of the night. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Let's it go from deep. Rivers can't get it to go. Goes back up. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Jordan. And that's now six points for Blake Griffin. Utah has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. The pass to Hayward. The feet to Freak. Let's go. And Stevenson pulls it in. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on them. Wide open. And it's off the back rim. No good. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Here are some of the league's monsters in the middle. The players with the most blocks in the regular season. Andre Jordan, number one. For Utah, they have shot just above 55% of the line, going five of nine. Free throw, good freak. Terrific game for freak. He's got 14 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. And Stevenson kicks to Redick. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. No good on the three. Jazz leading by 15. Burke, the pass to Lyles. Booker and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. Both free throws good from Booker. 105 left now here in the second. Rivers with it. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The Clippers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. That free throw good from Griffin. Two shots. Both free throws good from Griffin. And the Jazz with possession here. Now, Freak, 15 points in the game. There's 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Just five to shoot. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Clippers trail by 17. Rivers kicks to Griffin. Jordan the screen and the wide open shot from Reddick. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Freak. And the Jazz, another three. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Here is Stevenson. The three. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Jazz out in front. They lead by 18. And time now. Thank you, Kevin. Doc, what do you think is the main area this team needs to address going down the stretch? I tell you, every quarter we've had a two-minute stretch where, you know, guys are playing hard. They're trying to win. Uh, but you got to win together by running your stuff. And we're trying to make it up, and the turnovers are killing us right now. Coach, thank you so much. Over to you guys. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.
Hey guys, listen up. We're right where we want to be, but we still got to stay focused. So let's go over some things. Can't argue with anything. And welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. You look at Freak in this game, he has been for the Clippers. Josh Smith, he's checked in for Jordan. Lance Stevenson comes in for Paul Pierce. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. Utah also making some changes. Booker, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Rodney Hood comes in for Burks. And Freak subbed in for Exum. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the guards. Griffin is up for three. Smith rebounded by the Jazz. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Nice ball movement by Utah. Hayward goes in. Good on the leaner. Hayward's got 19 points. Well, I tell you what, Gordon Hayward really is fun to watch shooting the ball the way he does. And Stevenson kicks to Griffin. Pick by Griffin. Smith on the wing. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. You, you know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Utah leading by 19. Burke kicks to Booker. There's the dish to Freak. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Up the floor, here's Freak. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Stevenson inside the three-point line. Los Angeles with another miss. Burke. Shot is no good. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Jazz out in front, just dominating this one. We'll be back. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter and two of them have fallen. Griffin, and that one is stuffed right through. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Pass to Freak. Pass to Booker. He dishes it to Freak. Just five to shoot. Pulls up on the wing, and that one's good. Freak's got 30. What a top-notch game he's having. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. Paul kicks to Griffin. Jordan the screen. Here's Reddick. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Griffin's got five assists tonight. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Jazz. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Freak. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Jordan. And Stevenson comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Rivers dishes to Stevenson. There's 42 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Pulls it up. 
Offensive rebound, a second chance effort, and the layup is good. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Freak. Not a lot of room. Now the pass to Lyles. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That's on Paul Pierce. Free throws good. Lyles. And so he hits both. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Rivers. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into right, game now. two. And now okay. we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Derek, your defensive pressure took its toll all night. Is this the sort of defensive performance that you can expect your team to deliver every night? Oh, yeah. I'm drop top music. Drop top music. This is drop, 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 drop top music.